Okay, hello seniors. This is Ms. Schultz, if you can't see me, welcome to your college signing day. Let's see some woohoo from family members in the background, some clapping. It is pretty awesome to be here to see, look at everybody, to see you guys um, and to celebrate um, your next step in your you know, high school career, which is graduating and starting your journey to college. Um, Thank you so much for joining us for your college signing day. You know, this is probably going to be the most unique college signing day in the history of Christ Church Episcopal School. But you know what? I think it's probably going to be the best. Um, quite honestly, you guys are an amazing class. We love the class of 2020. And I think I speak for all three. I know I speak for all three of the college counselors when I say that it has been such an honor to walk side by side with your class as you um, you know, walk through your career at Christ Church Episcopal School and then um, make it through the college search and the application process. Um, you all are choosing such amazing college homes. We celebrate that. Um, and as a matter of fact, as I look at your choices, you guys are going to be across the country. So we celebrate um, each of your choices in each of your accomplishments. So as we move through the program, um, Mr. Size is going to be our technical director for today. And in a few minutes, he is going to guide us through all the activities. Um, but before that, I want to make sure that you hear from Mrs. Waters um, so she can greet you as well. So Mrs. Waters. Hey, seniors. It's so good to see everybody. Um, I feel like it's been forever and especially more because I've been on maternity leave for the past two weeks. So I really haven't seen any students or any of my colleagues or coworkers. So I'm just so excited to see everyone's faces. Um, I had joked when I told Mr. Sides that I was pregnant, I said, I'm gonna have to get a new Furman shirt because on May 1st signing day, I will be um, two weeks away from having my baby. And it turns out I'm actually two weeks from, from having my baby because she came so early, almost three weeks. Um, but anyway, I'm just glad to be able to see all your faces. I was thinking about y'all on this signing day and how this is such a fun day and how it's not that today isn't fun, but it's different. Um, but like Michelle said, I think if any class could handle the changes and with the flexibility and the positivity that you have, um, it's y'all. I think that that's just the class that you are. I think that if anyone can handle everything you've been put through this spring, it's you guys. And that's not just this spring and all that you've had to deal with, but moving forward and whatever comes your way. As much as I think it's, it's kind of sad to not be at the amphitheater and have our cake in front of us and be all getting together for our group picture, know that signing day is a day that celebrates a lot of other things that aren't taken away. The fact that you applied to these amazing colleges and were admitted to these amazing colleges and got through your college search process in one piece and like you and your parents are probably still speaking to each other and you're going to go to college in the fall and have this amazing experience. So college signing day celebrates that, um, but not having a traditional day doesn't take away from what you should be celebrating and all of the, the wonderful things that you've done and why we're so proud of you. So. It's so great to see everybody. I love hearing updates from some of you. Um, and we're just excited that you're here and excited for what comes next. Well, I don't feel like it, there's anything else that I can really add after Ms. Schultz and Ms. Waters. Um, I'm just, it, I was clicking through and looking at everybody's faces and it just warms my heart that you all are here um, and that you're excited and you're smiling and you're wearing your shirts. Um, and it just, I'm so proud of you guys and, and super excited. Um, as we talked about what we're going to do today, there are a lot of different um, ideas that we tossed around. And ultimately, we said, you know what, we want to give these guys a traditional, a non-traditional, traditional signing day. So we're going to try and do everything um, that we would be doing if we were in the amphitheater today. Um, and if we're able to do some of these things in person later, that's great. But um, we thought it was really important for you guys to get to celebrate um, on May 1st. So that's what today is, is a celebration um, and like Ms. Waters said, even though it's uh, different, it's still very equally a celebration. Um, and just, we are so incredibly proud of you guys. So with that being said, the first thing we always do at signing day is take a class picture. Um, so I'm going to go through and I'm going to take screenshots. Um, so if you are not a member of the class of uh, 2020, you can turn off your camera uh, so you won't be in the picture. Um, but I'm going to go through and take screenshots. Basically, I just want you to make sure that you are in your screen, showing your shirt. Thanks, Anna Claire. That looks awesome. And smiling. 
Um, and just keep doing because I have a couple of pages I'm going to have to do and it's going to take me a little bit to get through it all. So um, I basically just want everybody smiling, show me your shirt because you don't quite know uh, where you are on my screen and when I'm taking your picture. Um, so I'm going to get started and I will let you know when I make it through all um, four pages. So here we go. Everybody smile. All right, I'm doing the next one. Everybody smile for me. All right, awesome. I think I got everybody. Um, we will uh, do some editing and photoshopping of that um, to make sure that you are all there, but I think I got everybody. Um, so thanks for that. You guys were doing a great job. It was weird doing it so um, silently. Normally there's a lot of uh, noise and cheering. So if everybody wants to unmute yourself for about five seconds and cheer, we'll do that. All right, you can mute yourself back. Yeah. I think we need to roll to chirp. Okay, so um, the next thing that we are going to do is um, normally we have um, a, let's see here, what are we going to do next? Normally we have a um, a big cake that has a map of the U.S. on it and um, everybody goes and they write the name of the college they're attending and they stick it in the map um, exactly where um, where their new uh, college home is going to be or where their future plans are taking them. So I'm going to post a link to a shared map in the chat um, and when I do um, I want you to go and actually I'm going to share my screen and show you exactly what I want you to do. Um, so whenever I post this link, let's see here. It is going to look like this. And you're going to do a search up here at the top. So let's say that you are going to um, the University of South Carolina. You're gonna type that in there. It's gonna take you right there to Columbia. You're gonna click on the add marker right here, click on the map, and then you're gonna delete that and type University of South Carolina. I know that there's already a, a spot there, but to make sure there's one for each student, and you're gonna click save, um, and then we're gonna populate this map. So um, I am going to post the link now and have everybody write the name of your college and go ahead and pin it for me. Let's see. All right, there you go. All right, I see some great pins coming up. I'll keep refreshing so we can keep seeing it. And if for some reason this isn't working for you, don't worry. Um, you can come back and do it later. Also, while you guys are pinning your points on the map, um, we have invited some upper school faculty to join us. So they may be joining um, as you're doing this. So um, faculty, if you're just joining, welcome. Um, right now, students are placing their college home points on a map, um, much like uh, they typically do on a cake. I could not get a map that looked like a cake. Um, I tried, but um, that apparently does not exist. All right, it's looking good, guys. I'm going to give you all about one more minute, and then we will move on to the next thing. All right. 
Awesome. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Okay, so um, the other thing that we always do is we take um, your class picture and we frame it and we, ha um, we hang it up in the college counseling office. Um, so you all have probably seen that. You have your signatures on a map. Um, I sent out something earlier today and I know a lot of you have already uh, written your signatures um, and you sent them to me and I said, just hang on to it, just save it for later. Um, if you haven't done it, that's okay. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how to do that. Um, but essentially we're going to have you do a digital signature and then um, we are going to copy and paste it onto a mat. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna share with you um, is exactly how you need to um, write your signature. And I will post that once I'm done, I'll post it in the chat. Um, and then I will also post a link to the mat. Now, um, for the mat, if it starts filling up and you're not exactly sure where to put um, your signature, there's an extra slide right underneath it and you'll post it there. Um, I know this isn't maybe making a lot of sense to you, but once you see it, it will. So um, with that, let me show you what we're going to do next. All righty. So uh, there are a couple of ways that you can uh, show your signature. You can just write it on a piece of paper and snap a picture or um, I'm going to link this site here and then you just use your cursor and um, write, write your signature. You do have to press down a little bit on your cursor to make it work, um, but you can do that. And then at the very bottom, when you're done, you can click save and it will save it as a file. Once you have done that, I'm going to click over to the map. Um, so this is our college signing day map right here. So once you download your signature, you will take it and drag it on here, make it small, um, small enough that others have a place to fit um, their signature. You can definitely do this in different colors. So if you want to select the color, um, school colors of your college, you can certainly do that. Um, make it fun and look a little bit different. If for some reason, like I said, this mat fills up, there's a second slide here. You can drop your signature there and I'll work on it a little bit later just to make sure it all fits in there. Um, so with that, I'm going to first give you um, the ability to write your signature. I'm going to post that now in the chat. And then I'm going to give you um, access to the mat where you can drag and drop your signature right there. All right. You guys have a couple minutes. Are we writing, are we writing our college and our name or just our yes. name? Yes. Yes. Thank you, Chapman. You're writing your name and your college. So you would write Chapman Mann, Wofford College, all right? And um, it may help if you do it on two separate lines. So um, if you wanna write your name on one line and your name the college underneath, that may be a good way to go about it. All right, Let's, I would share it, but it looks like it's uh, all over the place. So I will post this. Um, once I clean it up a little bit so you guys can see. Sound good? Um, if it didn't work for you, don't worry. We'll come back and work on it a little bit later, okay? Okay, um, the next thing we are going to do, um, I got have gotten many messages that um, despite Zoom saying that we have unlimited uh, people able to join, um, we're not. And so there are some teachers that uh, wanna speak to you guys that are not able to join. So I'm gonna ask anyone who um, is not speaking to the seniors, um, if you can step out, we will post the recording later, um, but seniors, you don't leave. Seniors stay, um, and anyone who is going to be speaking to them, um, just so the folks who would like to speak to you can. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but we wanna make sure that um, they can hear from everybody. So um, thank you. I just, this is Dana Kimmel. Can I talk real quick and then leave? Absolutely. I miss all of you terribly. I am so proud of you and I cannot wait for every single one of you to come back and visit me <laughs> and tell me how you're doing and all the wonderful things you're up to. Okay, so take care and I'll miss you. Okay. 
Bye. Bye. Good luck. All right. Um, hopefully you guys could hear that. If not, we will post it um, for you a little bit later so you can hear that. Um, at this point, um, we have a couple of um, special guests that would like to say a few words to you. Um, so I'm going to turn it over to Coach Whited. Hey, seniors. When I think back about my senior year in high school, a couple things come to mind. Things like attending my sixth prom. Yeah, you can, you can do the math there. Winning a region championship with my high school baseball team and cutting up at school with my buddies while the teachers were just begging for summer to come. I'm not going to lie to you. Some of those memories are really great, but something I've realized as time has gone by, a lot of that stuff really doesn't matter. I know that sounds crazy to hear, but, but what really matters in life, it's the relationships you make along the way. You all, as the class of you all as the class of 2020 have made a lasting impression on CCS, whether you know it or not. Um, to me, you all are one of my favorite classes that I've had the pleasure of working with. Let's, let's, keep that, let's keep that just between us. I know it sounds corny and you all make fun of this phrase, but you all have really shown what we call the Cavalier mindset this spring. It's easy to give up. It's easy to throw in the towel when things get hard. But like our school motto, the beautiful is difficult. I would give anything anything for this to be normal but I know that right now that's just not in the cards I am so proud of you guys for persevering and fighting through to the end think about it this way when you look back in 10 years what do you want to remember about the spring of your senior year find the highlights and the unexpected make the best of it and make sure to stay in touch congratulations seniors on all of your college decisions and just remember no matter where the next steps in life lead you you'll always be a cavalier I love you guys. I love you. Um, are we supposed to clap? <laughs> all right, guys. Um, first of all, to echo what's already been said, we couldn't be more proud of you and how you've thrived over the past years and especially the last seven weeks. As you prepare to move on from Christ Church, it's, it's, it's normal to be nervous. Uh, remember that everyone else is too, and that you've created a tr terrific toolkit. Oh, here goes the dogs. <laughs> you've created a terrific toolkit of skills during your time here. One of the greatest parts of go <laughs> sorry. Uh, one of the greatest parts of going off to college or your next adventure is the opportunity to reinvent yourself. Many of you have been with the same classmates for four, 10, or even 13 years. You've grown a lot in this time, and it's okay if the features that defined you in elementary school or middle school have changed. So take advantage of every opportunity presented to add to your identity and get out of your comfort zone. With that said, it's okay to branch out to meet new, new people. Uh, surround yourself with people who challenge you and help you be the best version of yourself. And also remember that the people you're meeting don't know yet how amazing you are. So be sure to make a good first impression and give other, others the benefit of the doubt as well. Lastly, take care of yourself, mind and body, and remember that you always have a home here. We're just like humanist therapists. We have unconditional positive regard for you guys. Congrats. So I think it's my turn, correct? Yes. Can we, can you hear me? Yes, okay. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Uh, I'm honored to say a few words to you all on your college signing day. Uh, I feel like I'm graduating with you as my fourth year at CCES uh, uh, also is coming to an end. Honestly, I've always enjoyed this class a little more than any other since we all got on a bus together to Philadelphia. Life-changing memories will be tied directly to this class, like my OG advisory, the plays and musicals, and a long list of amazing school events shared with each of you. We are pained to not celebrate you in person the way you deserve. This is a frustrating situation, but there are three life skills you've developed during this time that I know will serve you well in college and beyond. One, strength in coping. You've managed to adjust in days to a way of learning unlike any other in our nation's history, and you nailed it. 
Life will throw you challenges like this and having the mental strength and fortitude to power through will come in handy again and again. Two, asking for help. We all had to. And it's more than okay to reach out and ask for help from your family, friends, teachers, mentors, or coaches, whoever, for whatever reason. College is tough. Life is tougher. And you don't want to try to tackle it all alone. So no matter how small or personal, please continue to be brave enough to ask for help. I do it all the time. And three, our bond. The fact that we can go days apart from each other and pick back up immediately. That doesn't go away. Never feel a sense of guilt about not speaking to someone for any length of time. Send the text, make the call, show up at the school. We will welcome you back with open arms. This bond is infinite. So genuinely, you all have been fantastic students, but even better human beings to get to know, share a laugh with, and learn alongside. Big things are coming from the class of 2020, and I'm really looking forward to being able to say the phrase, I knew them when. Wow, nice speech. Thank so you, God. <laughs> that, was, that was poignant. Thank you, Howard. Let's go, Mr. Howard. I'm last. I'm Miss Ferguson. Oh, oh Miss Ferguson, I'm gonna cry. This is a bad one. When when they sent out the email, I said, mm, "I feel like your mom." In fact, I am. I got two of you that would have been, but they're doing their own thing. And if y'all made a bet with Sophie Sasser that I wouldn't cry, then you just lost. This is such a big day, and it's um, I didn't prepare anything because I knew I'd anyway. Um, I've literally known some of you for 13 years, and when we started this, I've been looking forward to the day for 13 years because I mean, I've known y'all, and I've gotten to teach some of you, some of you I haven't, but. Y'all are my crew. I mean, y'all are my people. So um, even if I've only known you for a year or if I've known you for 13, you know that y'all have a special place in my heart. This is my, I'm finishing up my 30th year of teaching, 24th year at Christ Church, and y'all are part of that. And of the 24 years I've been at CCES, there's, there's a handful of classes that I have a special bond with, and y'all are it. And my advisees know it. I see some of my little faces. And y'all know that this, is, this, quor this quarantine thing has killed me as much as it has y'all. So, um, God, y'all are gonna do so well. It's, it's, I'm so proud of each of you, and as other teachers have said to you, it, it doesn't matter. I mean, you're going off to college, but let's say that, you know, let's say you don't like where you are and you got to change, you change. And we will be there for you. We will be there always for you, always. And y'all know that. And I love each one of you very, very much. And um, uh, hugs. And God bless you. I love you, Miss Ferguson. Love you, Miss Ferguson. Love you, Miss Ferguson. Miss Ferguson. I need to get you your darn coffee Ms. mugs. They're Frankie. all in my Frankie house. Frankie on top. <laughs> no, Ron Swanson's just chilling. Uh, I told y'all I would cry. I'm done. So if I asked you to FedEx baked goods, could that happen? <laughs> I don't know if the cream cheese brownies and the lemon bars would make it out to, to, to Cali, baby. <laughs> <laughs> what about Ohio? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. I bet they would. I know. I bet they would. I don't know. <laughs> but um, I know exactly, not exactly, but I know how y'all felt. I've got two 18-year-olds that have been in a funk for, oh, I don't know how long. So, you know. I get it.
Thank you so much to our special speakers. Um, you guys couldn't have said it, uh, or I couldn't have said it better. Um, so thank you all. Uh, we have one final um, very special guest who wants to say a few words to you guys. Um, and so, Mr. Clark. Uh, this is a lot of pressure after that. It's great to see y'all. I just want to say that uh, you guys are a very special class, and I haven't said that every year. No, not yet. When I think back about the class of 2005, the class of 2015, you guys are right there with those classes for me. Maybe it's just because I'm a math teacher and I like numbers divisible by five. But, um, you know, I think when I wonder to myself why that is, it's because you guys have a lot of heart. You have a lot of heart for other people, for service, for one another. And I've seen that all year and enjoyed it all year and um, have grown from seeing it all year. So you're, you're super special as a group. Your special as individuals were incredibly proud of you. Good luck. Come back and say hi. And we will look forward to celebrating in person as soon as we can. Stay tuned. We're working as hard as we can on it.